welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, well, let's bring you up to speed. Let's bring you up to speed where I'm at. A couple of weeks ago, uh, as of the date of this video, I took and passed my CBT for a motorcycle. And a week later, to my surprise, <laughs> I uh, took and passed the theory uh, test. So, legally, well, I didn't need to do the theory test for what I'm going to do now, but um, you only need a CBT for that. But um, now I can legally. Okay, cycle path. Thank you. Right, okay. So now legally, I can ride a 125 motorcycle with L plates. Not on a motorway. I'll take a billion passenger. And there's probably a few other things. They're the key things. Now I've got a choice. And this is what I'm going for. I've already put a hundred pound deposit, just a holding deposit, on the uh, Honda ADV 350. Just one second. Um, so I just have to they come out of that new uh, block of flats. Anyway, so ADV, put the deposit down. But I'm now starting to wonder, even though I used to ride motorcycles legally with L plates before the CBT thing, but that was many years ago, and unfortunately I had a major crash. Um, I'm starting to wonder now whether I should actually give myself a year, six months, a year on a 125 just to get used to everything. So I'm actually, even though I'm riding a bicycle on bicycle lanes, I'm actually uh, trying to use my mirror's signal, because this, this particular e-scooter's got signals, uh, you know, uh, indicators. Anyway, um, whether I buy a 125 and get some mileage under my belt, and then move up, maybe, even, maybe you know, it'll be fine. I do the six on the, do the test on the six hundreds, and maybe I feel that the uh, seven fifty might be better for me. Or I'll stick with the one two five. I don't know. I'm unsure. So who better to ask than the people in the know? So that's what I'm doing. I'm now heading to Rysnip. Honda, there's a Honda dealer in Rysett, lovely people, um, always friendly, well, <laughs> have been up till now, let's see if they still are, and I um, haven't been on the e-scooter for a little while, so I thought I'd give it a go, again, so that's what I'm doing, am I selling the e-scooter, yes I am, um, two reasons, I won't have enough room in my garage because um, I just won't if I buy a bike as well, a motorcycle. Um, so I won't need it. So, you know, is it has it been good? Yes, it has. I haven't got the mileage that I I need, but there are thousands of people that love it for getting to work and back. You know, so if you live eight to ten miles from your house to work, then this is great. Or even further, actually, when you think about it, you've got, to, I'm gonna be generous, you've got 20 miles range, right? If you're a bit of a porker like me, if you're nice and slim, then you'll get more. You'll hit 30s and 40s, but, you know, a lot of us in our 30s, 40s, 50s are carrying a bit. Anyway, so, um, what you could do, if you, even if you work 15 miles, 
So you could cycle to work, take the battery out, lock your bike up. It's useless without the battery. It's something you should, should know, but anyway. Um, it's useless without the battery, so what you need to do is um, charge it up while you're at work. Brilliant, you know, because then you've got, you know, so that you say 15 mile trek to work, 15 mile trek home, you can charge it up easily within three or four hours. And there you go, simple, no insurance, no tax, no license, nothing, just common sense, follow the road rules, end of bike route. So there we go, so I need to go back on the road, which is going to be fun, so mirror signal manoeuvre. I give way. He shouldn't be, he can stop, he can go. I'm moving and I'm moving him. And off we go. So I start to annoy by, uh, right drivers now. That's their problem, not mine. I'll have a push bike. So, yeah, so ideal tool to get to work and back. Can't fault it. Dips and shops, no stress. Leave the car at home, save money on petrol. Da da da. Now, so why am I, why have I got my bike license for 125 as a learner and actively now seeking to get the DAS course, which will give me my full license, unrestricted, which means I can get on a million CC motorbike bike and kill myself. No. <laughs> That means I need to get a sensible motorcycle. And the Honda ADV 350, the reason why I looked at that, and I was looking at the 500X, CB500X, as my first bike. And then I saw the AD350, and I was just blown away by the storage under the seat. Because I could get my Benro tripod uh, easily in there. My two Hasselblads are in my bag, uh, ready to shoot, so they could go in there easily, and a few odds and sods. Um, now I've got AA rated biker gear, I've got the uh, RST Commander, I think it is, the white one, so I look like Stig, and swap gear, um, <laughs> sort of. Um, but then I riffed when I was taking my CBT, it was a, a warmish day, it was not, but it was a warmish day, but boy did I sweat, even with the thermal linings taken out. So, <laughs> so I bought a, uh, is it Weiss, something like that, Weiss, German or Weiss or something like that, um, a lighter jacket, still double A rated, and I bought a pair of Oxford riding jeans with knee pads and side pads and god knows what else uh, just for the one day of summer that we have <laughs> uh, so yeah so getting there slowly but surely and the whole point of all of this is that i can then travel further afield with my photography um, and share with you my journeys as I do it. So it'd be like uh, like photo rides as it were, you know, so you riding me motorbike. So Appreciated. And so I don't cause too much trouble, I'm going back in. There we go, see, we can all share the roads. We're all a bit patient. We all calm down a bit. Anyway, yeah, so that's my idea. I can take my gear around. So, yeah, if I, if I get the 125, that does bring up a problem because then I've got to get a 
got to get a top box because there's, there's absolutely no storage on the 125 or most bikes to be honest um, so yeah so just wait here I think it's uh, that's clever. No, it's not blue. He's going to get a shock. Anywho, these little red highlights. Since he's a, thinks he's at the uh, Le Mans. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, so uh, the 125, so I'll have to add a top box. Um, and uh, so it's gonna cost a couple of quid more. Get the, uh, what is it, the guards? Because the, the 80350 has those already, the, you know, the hand guards. And I might treat myself to heated grips, but I don't know. I'm gonna be guided if 125 is the option for me. It's up to me, really. Um, the fact I'm thinking about it is probably part of my accident. Maybe I've got a bit of caution. You know, they're all taught to be cautious. So why not be a little bit cautious for once in your life? <laughs> my, body's, my body's an example, not a temple, and it's an example of uh, living life without caution. So maybe the first time in my life, listen to the voice in my head and uh, um, be a little cautious and also while I'm up here a um, couple of, couple of uh, months back a few months back I dropped me a bloody S22 on the floor and it found the only stone so the screen's cracked <laughs> so there's another 300 quid I'm not going to see ever again but apparently there's a couple of um, mobile phone fixes up here so I can get two things done at once So yeah, so here we go, coming to the roundabout, check, check, all clear on the right, all clear on the right, indicate left, because I'm coming left, to lifesaver, turn, indicator off, check indicator off, and here we are. So, here we go. Oh, rattly. That rattle's a big, um, um, what do you call it, lock that I've got in the top box. It's not a bike rattling, it's this big heavy padlock thing. So we're going up to that right hand turn, dedicated. I think it's definitely behind, coming up fast anyway. We go up here with ease, indicate I can go into this ASL, which is something I've learned following my highway code. Brakes on, feet down, getting ready to do a hill start on a push bike with a battery. <laughs> but the bike shop's just around the corner, so okay, let's go and up we go. This is fun. <clears throat> Let's have a shot. So go and have a look, see what's, see what's, what's occurring. Why is it not open? Oh, please use the back door. All oh, right, okay. So, this is novel. We've been down here, so. so here we are. Park 
you don't kill anyone. Um, we're going to park up. This will be all right, won't it? Uh, in case someone wants to drive in and out. Okay, hold on. Just let me think about this. Oh, right, yeah, here we go. Up. Here. Like that. Voila. Okay, right. I'm not taking the camera in, so this is me signing off, and I will see you very soon. Okay, so, uh, just had a wonderful conversation with the guys at the Honda in my step. Um, put my mind at rest, actually. Uh, I won't be going for the 125. Um, I saw, for the first time, the ADV 350, that boot space underneath the seat is enormous. My tripod and uh, cameras are going to go in there, no stress. Uh, and my mind was put at rest because, um, you know, I do have cycling experience, not just this, this e-scooter, but back in the 80s of scooters, mod scooters, Lambrettas and Vespers, but uh, the one I had my crash on was a that we used to know as a, oh, what was it, I can't remember now, Honda Scrambler thing, you know, I can't remember the name of it anyway, it's only a 125, but still hurt <laughs> when the crash happened. So yeah, um, so ADV 350, it is, and the one I saw, here's a little funny thing, because they can't get them in America as of date of this video, uh, the one I saw, grey one, is heading off to um, the United States, believe it or not. It's been shipped from here to the United States. So someone really, really, really wanted one. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Keep away from the bike. Go away from the car, sorry. Um, yeah. It looks a beast. Seriously, forget about what you see on YouTube. Um, because even I, I've, looked, I've watched so many videos about the ADV 350 um, in person, up, up close. It's a different, but it's a beast of a, of a scooter. It really is. So um, I was lucky to see it next to the Forza, was it? Put it on there. Same thing, 350. Uh, I've got to do a right here, so I've got to concentrate. Hold on. Indicate, mirrors, mirrors indicate, sorry. Still check mirrors, keep that from this car, sit back, mirrors, brakes on, mirrors, back brake is on, mirrors, mirrors, nothing coming from the rear. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So let's go. Just check. Check that yellow car is going left. No, it's not. It's coming straight ahead. Let's wait. Get ready to go. Mirrors. Signals on. Go. Shoulder, and there we go. It was easy, wasn't it? Anywho, so yeah, so even though this is a push bike, I'm still practicing. Watching the mirror, no one behind me, getting to anything I'm not doing uh, on this is uh, getting to a commanding position because I haven't got the speed, but. Um, but that will come later. Normally I'll be in the middle of the road. But because I don't have the speed, I'm being courteous to other road users who are faster than me. But hopefully they'll, uh, most people, generally, most people are nice. So 
it's only the odd idiot that ruins it for everybody else. Please, odd idiot, stop being odd, stop being an idiot. We could all share the roads. Oh, a bit windy. So, um, yeah, so I'm now going, hopefully, to pass masters in Sudbury Hill, where I got my CBT. And hopefully, I'll speak to someone about setting up my uh, assessment on a 600cc bike to see whether they'll put me see what level of training I need you know three four or five days um, at the moment the theory is four days but they reckon three um, but leaving one day up the sleeve just in case and if not get a refund but we'll see um, whether it's three or four it's a bit academic really um, now, now I've seen now I've seen the ADV uh, up close I can't wait to get on it now oh dear so I've got to wait a month 27th of September the, it gets released from the factory so another couple of days after that um, yeah a couple of days after that I go and do all the paperwork, sort the finance out, although I do have a healthy deposit if I don't buy another camera, <laughs> but it'd be worth it, you know, three years, uh, that's, that's the MOT free period, if that makes sense, it's you know, three years without an MOT, obviously not service it, but the MOT is clear and then and then after three years, once I pay for it, I could probably chop it in for um, whatever whatever's new, you know. So just uh, indicating my intention. Just let this van know. Thank you, for Mr. Arcado. That was kind of him. Moved right out of my way, which is uh, generous. See, we can, we can all share the road. We don't have to be horrible to each other. Now I can free will because this uh, scooter doesn't go any more than, well, I mean, I've had it 20 downhill, but that was with a tailwind. And, uh, but yeah, going downhill, you can free will and stick at 16, 17. Oh, scooter coming up behind me. There he goes. Couple of vehicles, they're all doing their best to uh, except for that idiot. Oh, well, you always get one. Why are they always in that kind of car? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Audi. Awesome, okay, so just groove along. One thing about, uh, yeah, I just want to bring up e scooter. Uh, many probably other one. Hello, 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 cyclist. Hello, sir. <laughs> Little nod of the head. Um, yeah, fellow fellow cyclist. Yeah, lovely. Anyway, um, yeah, you don't have to cycle like a lunatic. You don't have to pedal. You know, use the pedals. I've said this before. You'll be surprised just how slow you can pedal, but keep momentum going even uphill. You know, it, it really is a, a shocker. It goes against you know, your days of riding your grifter or BMX or whatever, or your mountain bike. Um, you know, you don't need to, you just you just, just find your nice slow pace and there it is, 16 mile an hour, no problem. Up and downhill, on the flat, wherever. I wouldn't take it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't take it off road. But... Although I've gone over the fields, at, um, uh, my park and it's on a dry day, not on a wet day probably, but on a dry day it's, it's great. You know, it takes it's got great suspension, um, really good suspension. So yes, yeah, so the e-scooter, I'm going to revive my, uh, it disappointed me because I needed more mileage, but that's probably me, you know, uh, now I think about it with an adult mind. Um, although. You know, if it only does 20 or 30 miles, they should really change the website to 
40 or from 40 to 50 to 20 to 30 depending on weight of like it's got to concentrate now so I'll come back to that in a minute so stop I'm going straight on so I'm not indicating waiting do that and I can't so it doesn't matter so just wait just wait wait for a clear 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 no clear clear and go so off we go and now go past the junction and indicate I'm now coming off left Shoulder, what an idiot, one, and now that's it. So I'm going out into the track and pass the car. And I've got a um, Mercedes right on my arse. I don't know what he's thinking, but I'm here. I'm too close to the cars anyway, but there's a balance of speed, I can't do more than. 15 miles an hour uphill so you know they just have to get used to it but again most people are nice that lady uh, the person there in that Lexus was nice just didn't race just gave me gave me space done their manoeuvre we can all do it right, now I can come in here now so that's it I've become less of a hindrance that's it so now I'm now less of a hindrance just watch this man here, in case he hasn't seen me. Thank you very much. And, uh, so, where are we going? So, it wants me to go through the houses of state. Okay, I'll do that. Do less traffic. All good fun. So, come around uh, beginning of October. Uh, winter time is creeping in for us in the UK. Um, for us in the UK. Oh, crikey. Uh, where am I going? Oh, here. So, should we turn that so I can turn left here? Nope, straight ahead now. Okay. Too busy talking. <laughs> oh, I know where it's saving. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, um, what am I saying, what am I talking about, yeah, okay, so come around October, I should be in possession, hopefully if I pass my test that is, I've got to find out now if I can do it. Um, Possession of lady V350 in cherry red or whatever the red is. Uh, I'm going to go with the top box. Not sure whether I go for the fancy one or just the standard one. Okay, fancy ones are really expensive, like 600 quid or something. It's a lot of money. Um, I'm sure it'll add to the resale value if I ever did sell it. Oh, hello. We'll go up here. Oh, they've been up here before. So, maneuver in, oh, hit me pedal. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, oh, it's nice, right, yeah, quieter. Um, October, we're riding the ADV 50, all going well. And uh, put my RST Commander gear into practice, probably, because it'll be colder and wet. Hey ho, got a baptism of fire, learn the hard way, not too hard though. So oh, you stay up there. Okay. And there we go. Right. Um and I can start my photo rides, you know. Share with you not only the journey getting to where I'm going but also the photos that I take when I'm there. And I look forward to doing that, because uh, we've got such a beautiful country. 
I mean, a lot of countries are beautiful, but, but I love Britain and everything about it. It's a lovely place. You know, some people hate on it, but you know. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, this is all rather pleasant. Yeah. Quietly through the housing estates, keep off the major roads. Just plodding along, keep my eyes open, making sure they see me, making sure I don't go head on into a fear. So, yeah, this is a bit of an, an issue. And this is cool. So what I'm doing now is I'm pulsing the green button on the, on the e-scooter, which gives you up to six miles an hour. So when you're doing slow manoeuvres, if it's below six miles an hour, then um, you can uh, pulse it with the, or just keep it on or pulse it, whatever you need to do. Um, And there's another bonus. I'm allowed in the bus lane. <laughs> not on a motorbike, I'm not, but on a bush bike, I am. That's cool. But I don't really want to be because I want to be over here. So I'm just letting them know that I'm coming over. I am turning right, so I'm indicating right. As far as I can tell. So I'm indicating right, check in. Doing my check in, check in, and indicate left, check left, and off we go. On to the new road. So, uh, yeah, to pay for said ADV. Right, so what I'm doing, oops, stop, stop, okay, do a signal check, where am I going? I'm going straight ahead, so I don't need to signal. Okay. So there was a case there where an impatient driver was doing the right thing, I think. I was going straight ahead, so I don't indicate. But um, he thought, just because I'm going slow, he just cut me up. Yeah. I'm sure he's happy. He wouldn't be happy when I, if I was dead, though, would he? Anyway, I thought maybe he would be. I don't know. <laughs> Some weird people around late lately. So nearly at the uh, at the uh, training centre, past Muslim Litter, and cross the road. Here we go. Double check. Oh, that's the car. No, I've got blockers. That's cool. I'm off. Clear. Don't have to do the road. I think it's telling me that I can, because uh, I'm on a bush bike, I can sort of sneak through the park. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. Because that is the actual park that goes to the John, uh, David Lloyd's uh, health centre place. And uh, Past Masters is there. So I'm just going to shut up for a second. Who said? 
He said, thank God for that. <laughs> so shut up for a minute. I'm concentrating where I've got to go. So back in a moment. do that sir so I can't get in there because they put one of those uh, silly gates in that's all right so I'll just go up and over yeah so they put one of those gates in that you can't get bike through but it is a bike lane so a bit odd anyway not so worry just go up and round, don't we? Up and round. At least home is predominantly, uh, predominantly uh, downhill for most of it. So be fine. Well, forty-five percent battery. They only had. 86% charge earlier, but I've only done about 12 miles or so. people sitting back from the ASL box that I'm sitting in which is for cyclists only 150 quid if they trip over that remember that when you're having a row even motorbikes are not allowed in here but it's purely for cyclists it's 150 quid fine if you dare put a wheel over that white line behind me like that white car over there <laughs> Bikers. Here we go, and we're off. There we go. So I just push bike. See that on the floor, and up there. So it's the walking and cycling lane. This is the cyclists. There we go. So that means I'm off the road, which is great. So we'll keep an eye on it though. And I left and right. Slow down here. Okay. Okay. Pedestrians. Man with onions. Man nearly with no onions. Man with falling onions. And fell onions. There we go. <laughs> yeah, bless him. Having a tough, tough moment. Okay, so I'm going to come off the cycle lane here. I can't because there's a car with his lights on, so I'm going to carry on round. And into David Lloyd's here. Make sure no one's following me. Okay, but well they're not going for the tests or anything, so... I did my CBT. A lovely man called Who Man, it's H O O M A N, I believe. So that's where his name Who Man. Uh, really nice chap. Um, excellent teacher. Unfortunately, he only does CBTs, so I, can't, I would love him to be my uh, mod one and two teacher, but hey, you know. 
have to deal with what you get dealt with in life. So let's just see. Let's see what we've got. I don't know if they'll be open or not. I hope they are. But if they are, then I can hopefully put my put my uh, really need to but I didn't want to mess it up now I'm going to behave myself so I can go I'm not supposed to go through there so I'm going to indicate there a signal and do that so off we go no one on the zebra crossing I know there's a door block but I'm just going to double check yep fine Here. That's locked. Uh, I can turn my turn the phone off. Right, so now we're going home. Okay, so I'll uh, give him a call. Okay, okay, all clear. Um, right, now I'm going to do something a bit dodgy. Shouldn't do this, but whoop. there we go. Okay. Right then, so. A little advert there for past masters. They're nice people. So I'll give them a call when I get home. And discuss what I'm going to do. All good fun. So this is just the ride home, so uh, I've done this a few times on video. It's just for my safety and for me to test out the, uh, still te test the blur, still testing the Tascam. God, say that when you're drunk. Um, still testing the Tascam uh, recorder. Might be up too much wind, really. It's only got the little muffler on it, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Try and be positive. So there we go. So I'm not pedaling any faster, and I'm doing between eight and ten miles an hour, and I'm building pace back up. So I'm just pedaling slowly like, like before no um no pressure no rush and now i'm going to go back onto the cycle lane which is here just here careful of pedestrians Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. No point having a go at everybody. It's just he couldn't hear me for some reason. We wasn't expecting someone. Right, so I'm going to use the safest route back onto the road, which will be here. That's great. Lovely. Very nice. Oh, 
very pleasant. That was a bit low, but we'll get there. It'll be all right. I'll go um, direct. No stopping off. I've no fault. I didn't wait for the battery to be fully charged. But, you know, not too far, to the guess. Let me pedal it down here. Absolute prat. That is your absolute prat. Idiot. Park my French. Obviously has a small penis. No need for it. There you go, nice person, saw me, you know, just cruise past, no stress. So what I mean, so in our journey today, most people have done that. Oh, there's past masters. So they must have been out on a run doing a CBT or probably mod 2 training for you. Oh well, um, at least I know they're here. But I've got, I don't think we've got enough battery to go back. So, um, plus they'll be doing debrief and stuff and finishing the floor. So I'll um, phone up. I think that's the thing to do. But it's worth a try, never know. And off we go. Now, decision, what do I do? Do I cut through and up and down or or I just cruise it. I think I'm going to cruise it. Yeah, I'll be alright. It's a major road, but I've got bus lanes for the cyclists, that is. And now it is that dickhead that such a low car, you can't even go over the humps. Not to worry. Tortoise and hare comes to mind. Waters and hair. Yeah, see? You did it. You see him, you saw me, I didn't do anything. And he just cruised past gently and off we go. And both live happily ever after. <laughs> okay, so now I'm indicating left because I'm going left. Clear. Are we clear? We're all clear. Check. Clear. Right. Indicator still on. So I'm going left. I'm going left, left. Got BMW up in rear. Take the indicator off because I've got a junction coming, an option here. So now let's go over quietly, pleasantly. Go over quietly. yet but I can now back brake I can come out and in shit no one cuts in just turn up in uh, left hand turns, which they're perfectly legitimately allowed to do, but they probably think I'm going quicker than I am. It's quite on roads today, isn't it? It's a Saturday around four o'clock. Uh, is this something for me? Yes, it will just sort of put around like that or whatever. I'll get a clear one.
Ealing Council, sort the roads out, will you? That should do something of value for everybody. I'll get a few people in with less uh, back injuries. I've got to be careful, so I'm going to talk for a little while while I get up and over your can't see any shared signs here. That's what those little blue signs are that are. Um, have a bike in person, so we shared a pathway. I can't see it, so wait for everybody to work out two into one got a lorry car and truck still can't see any I don't want to go down there because it takes me through around to the park and it's sort of long the way home for me at this present moment of time There's no, no um, cycle lane yet. No cycle lane yet. Plus, they know if it's further up. I've missed it, but I can't see any of the blue and white and uh, blue signs with a little feet person on the bike. So, I'm going to stay as I am, just cruising along, doing the thing, relaxing, filtering, push bike style. <laughs> right, here we go. So, a bus lane with a bus in it. Don't help me very much, but hey ho. Uh, do, 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 do. straight ahead and in the bus lane. <sighs> okay, so straight ahead or left. One minute position. So we're all in the same boat. Crossing on the right way.
And off we go. Ah, there you go. So I can use the file. So I'm going to indicate here and find the gravel and I'm up on the path. There you go. So I can use the path and get out of everybody's way. Shoulder, shoulder, left, right. Okay, these are the blue signs here. You can hide it. I'll put it up on. Thing. That means we can share, so we both share the space. But people have priority, so you don't come cycling down here like some lunatic. You look after each other. I think he thinks I'm a motorbike. <laughs> he's in saying hello and he thinks I'm a motorbike, which has happened, please. Just uh, lady on the phone. No, nope. too engrossed. Okay. Okay, let's uh, carry on. Okay. Yep, loud up here. Still, see that? Blue circle people, but I have to give way to people. Surprise to get back with supports. Still kind of over the side. Here, check, check. Up. Down. Check. And the bus lane. I'm cyclist, so hold on, hold on, we're doing, we're doing, whoop. Okay. Okay, right, so now down on the cycle park, which is there. So over here, go on the cycle lane. People walk on here anyway, so we've got to be careful as well. Although that lady there's it's fine, it's clear, we're all clear, we are clear. All the way to the cycle lane. Off we go. Check, check. And on our way home. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, 
not so very much, but hey-ho, a bit different. Um, watch out for the new videos in October. Or I'll have some more before then, but look out for the new videos in October. Uh, with the Honda ADV 350. If I pass my test, which will probably be my next video. <laughs> Wishing you all well, ride safely, and take lots of photographs and share them with everybody. Why not? <laughs> Over and out. Absolute prat. That is your absolute prat.